Hello guys, it's another week and I proudly come your way with this Microsoft Access Database tutorial. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a course registration and billing database for Bootcamp. So if you're able to follow this particular video with rapt attention and then all sort of needed attention, you will be able to come by a complete and then a good database system that can be used in Bootcamps to go about your course registration billing and then also payment so one two three four will be the structure or the supposed model of this particular system we shall be having students table course and course table course registration payments and then receipts the video is going to be quite a lengthy one so uh without not much we do we jump straight into it okay so here we are going to start by creating a blank database on our desktop so you can decide to put it in a folder or just put it on the desktop directly so here i'll right click on the desktop because i want to put it here now we go to new so new microsoft access is also here okay so now we can just type the name of the system here so let's say bootcamp bootcamp database okay so you can say bootcamp database but then inside the bootcamp database our expected models are to take care of course registration and then also the billing okay so here i will double click the bootcamp database okay as we are here we click to enable the content now first and first we go to the backstage view and then do some amendment to the name that we have here to show only the supposed name so we go to file this will be in the backstage view so here we go to options now here in options you go to current database so the name of the application is course registration db system you can probably give it any name now there are options microsoft access provides you an option to upload an application icon but then for now we are only interested in the title so we'll hit ok here okay so now we start with our first table which is the students table because it's the students that are really coming in to register courses that we're building so we we'll go to create table design okay so here our first fold will be student id so student id data type will be auto number so we are probably going to use this one as a primary key now let's make it a primary key so we say student name we, you can also choose to separate the or take the first and then the last name but then i am putting everything together so student name now let us limit it to 50 characters so before we continue let us save this table right click save now we say students okay so we'll take the above date so that probably going forward we can calculate their ages so here we say date or time okay so we can also take the telephone so telephone here in ghana telephone length is 10 so i will limit it to 10. now we'll take their email addresses so email addresses we'll leave it as shortest and then post size is supposed to be 50 so now we can also take their home address so their home address okay so although the food names have not included spaces you can use a caption to issue spaces for instance if we should view this table use so let us save it so now there are no names there are no spaces in the uh the folder attribute so if you want to show the names in the in the data sheet what you have to do is once you select the field you come to the caption then just type the name so i want to issue a space so caption and now i'll put a space here okay so home address i'll do the same thing so we paste it here now we say uh let's type it so home address now also we'll do the same thing for student name so caption we say student name okay so now this one will make the table look so informative now let's go to data sheet view it's now more presentable as compared to the previous okay so without not much we do let us enter some couple of students here so let's say sandra isel so sandra isel 
birth date January 00. So telephone, we type our number numbers there. Email address, we say Sandra G12. So at info.com. Now, email at home address, so we can even type a name there. So let me add myself, Ako Smiler, date of birth, incorrect date of birth here. So you can say 1993 which is wrong, 024 so I will say akosma akosma.gg.com so I'm just typing wrong names over here uh, so kaswa ok so we can add more students so let's say AC Mansa is also a student so date of birth now let, let me type Accra so we'll say AC at Yahoo AC at yahoo.com so you see at yahoo.com okay so telephone numbers here to type any fictitious data here okay so now that we are done with the students so here we hit yes okay so now we proceed straight out to the course and course table so we are going to create a table for courses that the bootcamp will be uh, making available for studies by students. So we'll go to table design. So here to we say course ID. So course ID, we are going to say auto number. Now we make it a primary key. So we say course, that is a course title. So course, course title, short test. And course title shouldn't be more than, let's say, 40 or 30. So let us see the table. So table name we say courses. Okay. Uh there are let us move on to add some couple of fields to the course table. Okay, so now what is a cost? Or uh, course so course course cost. Okay, cost cost rhymes too much, so let us use cost price. So the cost price, this is going to be a currency. This is going to be a currency, and there has to be some validation. So default value it has to be greater than or equal to zero. So if this validation is breached, we say invalid amounts entered. Please, please enter again. Okay, because cost prices uh, need not be less than zero. So we have the cost title, cost price. Now we can also uh, put over here cost length, cost length. So the course length is supposed to be year. Okay, so I'll just type in here course length. So you are the database administrator and you can just put in here a description so that whoever that turns in over here will be able to understand. So we we'll say course length is in years. Okay, so here I'll say number and then I'll just go by. So let's go to the full size. So over here, integer is okay. Now course length, validation is supposed to be one. Okay, some courses really come in months. So let's say course years is in months. Then we can say the minimum course length is one. So uh, validation rule is supposed to be greater than or equal to one. So now validation text, so let's say value is incorrect. As course length as course as course length so as course length it should be at least one one month okay so now we are done with this let us go to the view so now we have it here this time around for the sake uh, leverage because we want to leverage the length of this particular video we aren't going to set captions but then feel free to do it i will be putting a link to the video uh, the link to this particular project in the video description so what is the course title so let's have some couple of courses so let's say web development with wordpress so okay so let's take 300 dollars for that and it's supposed to be 12 months so let's say web designing let's web designing let's say that one is 200 so it's supposed to be 24 that is two years so let's say database development 
so let's say that one's also four hundred dollars and then length let's make it six so let's say digital marketing digital marketing that one is supposed to be one thirty point nine zero so let's say this one will be thousand now this one will also be thousand two hundred okay other than that our courses will be too cheaper so here we say seven months okay so we can add a lot of we can add software engineering and a whole lot to this but then going forward we will have the chances to add more courses also okay so now we close it here okay so now we proceed straight out to the course registration so we proceed straight out to the course registration so here we go to create table design so over here we're going to say registration id and it's supposed to be auto number so we make this one a primary key so registration id now there has to be a relationship to the students table so now among got the fools here it is a student id as the primary key so let's use that as a foreign key here so a foreign key is a primary key that is present in a different entity or a table to create a relationship so in as much as or whilst the primary key values here will be unique when we come to the foreign key in this table that we are creating we are not expecting it to be unique because one student can have a lot of courses registered so we can say student id here now what matters most here is the data type it has to be the same so here we stick to number okay so let me create we close this student table so registration id student number so now here we say reg registration date and it's supposed to be date or time so here we cannot issue a default value default value is supposed to be date and this date remember in previous video we said that uh, it's a function that returns the system date here so by default course registration will bear the system date so we can also take reg time and this will also be date or time so now here default value this time around guess what is going to be is going to be time so let us save it before we continue so save okay so now we say registration tv okay so we have student id registration day registration time now what is the course so here course and we have already we have the courses here so we are going to build a lookup so we click here lookup wizard Okay, so now I want to look up to get the values from another table or query. Yes, exactly. So once here, we double click courses. Now we will only need a course title. So what we do is we tap on it. Sorry, let me bring everything here. So we click. Now we hit the arrow. Bam, then we move forward. So let us sort by the course ID. You can choose to sort descending order or ascending order also. We go to next let me straight this out so that it looks well in the lookup so now we go to next let us enable data integrity but we are restricting the delete so that if we should delete a particular course it wouldn't affect the registration table if you had wanted uh, your deletion of courses to also what, eradicate all registration associated with that course then you will have to choose the cascade delete but then it is something that i want to um omit for now so now we go to finish the table must be saved before relationship so guys let's click here because we really need a relationship i know lookups are also used to build relationships in microsoft access okay so let's see whether we've exhausted all the necessary fields id student id registration date registration time course so now we have the course also here so we have the course also here now you can feel free to add uh, any number of uh, fields that you had wanted to add you could choose to add a course start date and then the course end date but then uh, we uh, I just wanted to make it so simple for you once you get a file feel free to modify it so now we are done let us go to data sheet view okay so for instance uh, this student Sandra Iso so probably we just have to enter one here so the dates and the time comes automatically so what course so web development so the same students again registers what course 
so let's say she just want to take web designing but so this this time right means that a student can choose to be enrolled on several courses is that something that you i mean you want to go by if it is not then in that case it means that um you will have to restrict this but then it is not good also restricting this one to unique value because students can complete and then go and come back so let's assume this student has registered for two classes or courses all together so we are done now let me take one more student so i could smile on myself so i could smile on number two so i really i like database so i'll go for database development okay on the same date so now if we if i mean in going forward we'll be adding a lot of students and at any point in time you can register our uh, student courses now in this registration table you can see that we don't have uh information about the course the course price the course so as soon as we the user select the course there has to be some associated information showing and we are going to do that with the use of the queries okay before we go let us go and build a relationship between students and registration so here we go to database to use relationship okay so already a relationship is built for us because of the lookup show the table now students and then okay so this students registration is already here so we click we drag it's so easy we put it here okay so it opens the edit relationship wizard and force referential integrity but then remember previously i said we will always be not, we will not be cascading the delete related so let's check the second option and we'll click create we are done so you see now before we go back if you want to see the relationship reports do your arrangement neatly here and click relationship reports so once you click relationship reports microsoft access will give you an ERD diagram, this is a relational diagram here, ER diagram that you can uh, print and then show you to uh, stakeholders of your database when it becomes necessary. For now, we are not going to save it even, so we exit it here. Now let us close this one also. Okay, so let's go to the query and fetch additional information to the registration table. So we we'll go to create, now we we'll go to query design. So here we go to registration the table courses. Okay, so let's click star. Now when we run, we have all columns and rows of the registration table. Now we want to add the course price and the course length. Okay, so that is the beauty of the queries. So you can see that associated with every course, now we have the price and we have the course length. So if you choose a different course, it will come with different information so you can see it's changing also here so let's stick to this okay so now we save this query control s so we'll say registration extended registration extended okay so now that we are done with this the next step is for us to proceed to create some couple of forms but as you can see we have quite a number of tables here uh, we will be creating what we are interested in the most is table for registration uh, tb i already have videos that teaches how to create forms so you can be creating basic form for this student table and then course table okay so for now we are only going to create the form for the registration table to limit this video and i believe you can create courses and then student table okay so let's open registration table here now we go to create form wizard so let us bring everything here sorry 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 guys we need to use registration extended because that one has all the information we need so form wizard form wizard now before we will go uh, will it not be good for us to also get the information of the students once id is put in so just as we did for the courses back to design view let us show table we add students okay so now once you since the residency table is only taking students id let us double click to add the details of the student so telephone email and then home address so run now you can see that the query has so this student's id and we've been able to fetch the associated information from the student table so now we can move on to build our form okay so we're going to create form wizard 
let us add everything next so next now let's stick to column now now modify the form design yes let's just modify it so here we have our first form here so the first thing is we select everything here right click size you say widest now here we can really uh, narrow it so we are going to divide this uh, the information here so the students the, info, the students information let us put everything right in here okay so as soon as you input the student id we see the information also at the side okay so let us select everything here we stick to 12 so calibre is okay so this is okay for us okay so now feel free to edit you can edit this so student id so you can say date and you can say time so you can say course now i'll write a line here to our right align let me select everything here now left align shape outline let me stick to blue okay so now here what we'll do is so now here what we'll do is we'll say course registration so course registration now let us increase the size a bit to 22 okay so course registration now over here to stick to the color here so shape fill let us use this so we can use this color throughout now let us view the form so this is how the form is really looking so design view we got to remove this so design view now navigation option is yes record selector is no now let us make it a pop-up pop-up is also yes so now let's click here the caption that is the title of this form so let's say course registration course registration so let's go back and see okay so now as you can see the form is really looking it's very very impressive now here okay so we have course registration and this is a caption and now record selector is also done away with so let us go to design view and modify the form to look more uh, nice so I'll choose to add another rectangle here okay so another rectangle another rectangle now here let us fill it so okay is it looking good so this is okay but let's send it to the back so position send it to back okay if that is the case then it means we will have to select everything here so select everything here and the color let's make it white okay so you can choose to shape our line make it more thicker and then also use color white and i think this is going to make it stand out a lot okay so uh, this is very good so we can go with this okay so now here guys we've got to add some couple of buttons but before then let's try this one out so let us add some couple of buttons so we go to design we add the button let's add it here so record operation add new record so we'll say new finish okay so now we click again now here this button is going to be save button i will not add anything for now so i'll just say save so let us add uh, a button that will delete a course for us so we click it here record operation delete record next now we say delete so we straight it up here needle now let's highlight everything so you can think of some buttons to add you can add more buttons 
but then these are the most significant ones that uh, have to be there no matter what so let's stick to this now 14 is the size shape outline nothing so we'll just stick to this okay so now let's see okay so now this is very classic so now we want this button so this time right you can see that if the pointer is hovered it doesn't really communicate anything to us so let's make it more interactive we select it now we come to the property sheet format so here under press color press color sorry so press color let's start from hover color so when you hover to highlight press color highlight now zero 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 for hover four and press four okay so now let's go to the phone view so this time you can see when the mouse is hovered it does this and this looks so good so let us uh do course registration again so new now what's the student id so let's say student number three and remember that student is ac mansa from the student table so it has fetched ac mansa for you so that is ac mansa for us here now what is the course so web designing and you can see the price has come automatically so now we are done we save now because the save button you've not programmed it i will just do it manually control s to save and now if i go to the course registration and i refresh it is already there so you can see we have it here so here to if you refresh we will have it here as such okay so let's close everything we we'll open it once more now back to design view so this are uh, very much important so let me increase their sizes to so 14 good okay so having come this far now we are going to program this and there has to be uh, an additional there has to be an additional code an additional code and we can probably do that using the registration extended so let's go to let's go quickly to registration extended so now we come to the new column right click build so let's say Syria so this will be a Syria for registrations so this Syria is going to be the student ID concatenated with the day of the registration dates and months sorry so months of registration dates the tab key finally and year so it means that this will help us to get all information of a student if the person registers two or more courses in a particular day so that they will all appear on our receipt so year on registration date so so that is what the series is supposed to do for us now okay let us run so we refer to more than one table listed that is very true because here we have student ID here to your student ID so let's specify where assets should pick it from so here we can just say registration extended dot student ID okay now let's run guys right, so let's go back once more again so so let's say registration registration tb dot student id and day and month and year okay this is supposed to work for us okay so now it has worked and now so you can see these students registered more than one course so all the ids are the same so they will all appear and we can now do the total now we have the special series generated for us here okay so back to our form now let's select the control and then label copy and paste so here we can say uh, registration syria so it is syria data we are going to change it to syria so we are going to change it to syria so let's see registration extended 
Syria is here. Registration. So the record source of the form, let us change this once more again. Suppose the registration extended, then this one can be Syria. So now we are done. So let us change the size to 18 and let's bold it. And probably we can make this one a transparent and then the color can be any color that will glow. So let's stick to this shape outline transparent. Okay, so now let's view the form and see. So now here we have our course serials. So it means that you can use a serials to search for a student's course registration details. Okay. So now let's program the save button. So we right click build events code builder. Okay, so here let's deem kk anything. Now if it's now mid or student ID, so if it is now mid or student ID, then Microsoft Access should prompt the user to enter student ID. So kk is equal to MSG box. So students ID field cannot be blank. Okay, so VB critical. Now we say student ID, student ID. So enter student ID. So else, sorry, else if it's now me dot. So we have to choose a course, me dot course me.course then kk is equal to mig box again please choose a course please choose a course so vb critical so we say no course chosen okay so that is that if else dcmd does save PCME dot refresh now KK again is equal to so there has to be a message box to communicate the success of everything so we say course course is registered is registered for students successfully successfully so this time around comma VB information as a message box type then we say registration success. Hooray. Okay, so we are done. Don't forget. Good. So control Z. Don't forget and if. Okay, guys, so we are done now. Now let us add one more student. So let us add a student here. So let's say Fred Andy. A name. Date of birth 20th March 1991. So he, he is in Kote Newtown. Okay, yes, Kote Newtown. So now we are done. Let us save it. We can add another student. So let's say Godfred. Uh, so Godfred Bounce. So he's also in Bojia. Say now we are done. So let us say Fred is coming to raise a course. His ID is four. So new student ID four. Now the rest of the information fetch for you. So if you click save, please choose a course because you've not chosen any course. So let's select a course. Take it as marketing, and the price is thousand. Course length is also seven. So we save. Okay. So guys uh that is that for the moment so now that we are done with this it is left with us to create the course registration reports so the course registration report so here we go to create so here we go to create but before then let us open registration extended table so which are the information we will need so we are going to we are going to need students name students id email address okay so now we're going to create 
report wizard now we would like the courses to show in a table tabular form so we come down here so here i'm going to say course name and then also course price so course name and then course price okay course name and course price and we we'll need the registration id so let's say registration id course course price so now I go to next now I go to next again now I go to next so registration id okay this time I want a tabular form okay so we we'll go to next now let us modify the form straight out so we we'll see registration list this will give us the registration list okay so we are going to omit this now let us select everything here so control a to select so i'll use times new one now I'll stick to 12 so here i'll say registration id course okay so everything here primarily is okay so let me extend this a bit shape outline transparent okay so let's close it here so shape fill transparent now here let us control a so the color is supposed to be black this is supposed to be black now let me close the gaps here okay so we can pull it to the top close this okay so now let's view this report okay so this report is giving us the course list that the student has registered so design view again now instead of registration id you can just say id to provide or make space give enough space for us now let's find the total of the course so we go to we select it go to design total here you select total okay so here you bold it and we can probably add a label so we can probably add a label so here we are adding the label so label is here and this label is supposed to be so total cost so total cost let me copy the printer paste here okay so at this point you can bring it closer so here we are okay so now we have a report that gives us the course list of the students so now here on this very report so this is what we are going to do we are going to make enough space here create space now shape fill is supposed to be white so here we bring the details of the students and then the course registration so add fields so we need a student telephone email and then home address so for now we we'll bring that one here bam so let us extend it okay so let's extend it a bit okay so here too we select everything boot is okay times new woman okay so times new woman now let's select this size to widest so here we pull to the top so here we pull to the top and we can also give it a possible extension okay so now here we we'll say a label is added and that label will be student information student information so here we select 16 16 is too large let's stick to 14 for now now we we'll bold it okay so shape fill here to be transparent shape outline will also be transparent okay so we put then we are going to bold this okay 
So now let us enclose everything in a rectangle. Okay, so here position we send to back and the fill select transparent shape outline select this and the shape outline color we select black okay so let's view it so guys that is how it is looking and as you can see it's very very nice so we're going to design view once more now let's add the course registration the course registration or Syria so here we click and we add it here so here we are going to we'll be adding the payment details so let's bring this one right here so now here we put it here back okay so here we say Syria so Syria so Syria now let us select it. Shape outline, sorry, shape outline is transparent now here. But then size has to be widest and then the color has to be 14. Okay, so now black. Shape fill, we don't want any. Okay, so now it's here. So you can say registration, registration. Syria. So we bold it. Registration Syria. We bold it here. Now let us center it here. Okay. So now at this point, I will choose to bring another rectangle here. So we add it neatly. And the shape flow, I will choose this shape outline transparent. Okay. So let's see. So now this is how the report is looking like. So let's click here and make it a pop-up. Don't forget to turn the center to yes. Okay. So now we are done registration list and we have this. Okay. So if you want to get rid of this gray bar here, that is a screw bar. So you come in here, screw bar properties, you set it to neither. Okay. So here, instead of registration reports, let's make it, instead of registration, let's just make registration reports. Okay. Registration report. So now, we go back to course registration form, and we are going to put a button here. So this button, we are going to, let me click this, format printer, we apply. Now this one will be print. So print. Let us add the picture. So come to the format and the property sheet. Click here. So let's say print. Okay, so can use can use this for the meantime. Now let us select another picture. So the page setup will be okay for us. Now I want to display the caption to this very form. So we click and the caption should be at the right. So now we have this. Okay. So in fact the prints I would like us to make it uh, have and then transparent also. Okay. So now let's see. So this is a print button. Okay. So this print button visible is yes. Okay. So now we can go on and program this button by click the old macros again. So open report registration. Now we say equal to equal to Syria equal to Syria. So now let us so after the ampersand let us bring in quotation we put an apostrophe there then end again now we copy the same thing we paste here and now you include this one in brackets so in brackets now let's see so this will open to the students registration reports straight out so let's print so now as you can see 
Sandra registered two courses and in all she is going to pay an amount of 1500 so let's select a different person so let's say Fred Fred and these reports so you can see the student detail here registration Syria now we have the course so if Fred registered another course they will all pop up over here okay so now how do we also do the payment because after billing there has to be payment so we are almost at the end of this video so now we go to query design so here we bring registration table we are going to need so we are going to sorry we need registration extended that has a cost so registration query extended okay so here we are going to need the Syria so we are going to need a Syria then we we'll need a student ID then we we'll need a course price by here we click total because an aggregate query and it's a course price that we are performing aggregation on which is sum so we are done let's run so you can see it gives you every student ID and then also the every student ID and then also uh, the price that a student is supposed to pay and then that also the price that a student is supposed to pay okay so what we'll do is we we'll right click here now we say so we say cost cost so cost so now let's say cost details so this will be cost details so now since we have total cost prices how do we track the payment it's so easy so registration table we add one more fruit to it and that is the amount paid so let's say amount paid currency okay so now that we have this here registration extended so registration extended let us come down here create a space for that field okay so now we add one more field so we just make a duplicate here so paste now we say amount being paid or amount paid let's say amount paid okay so here record source is going to be so amount paid which is here okay so now we are done with that so how much is a student paying okay so let us assume this student is paying so let's say default value before then so here the format has to be currency default value because we make the duplicate i don't know if that these settings we would not even do it so default value equals to zero okay so let's say he paid so let's view the report thousand five so let's say he, he has paid thousand five hundred now we save so let's go to next so our cosmila let's view his total so let's say 400 he paid only 250 now we save so let's go to next student AC Mansa, let's see the total so 1200 zero, zero. and let's assume she is paying let's say she is paying an amount of 900 so here we see okay so now once we come in into the course details what we we'll do is we are going to add the amount paid also group by supposed to be sum and now let's create one more field to calculate the balance so here we see balance okay so balance what we are going to say is that sum of course so sum of courses dot price minus sum of minus sum of registration dot amount paid okay okay now we are grouping by this time around supposed to be expression 
now here we run okay so because we added amount paid uh, at a later time that's why this one should be by default the values will be zero so now let us go to student id 4 so student id 4 student id 4 so let's let us enter for instance zero here but by default for instance if you click default you see it is zero here because we had entered this once previously okay so once you refresh the balance will also pop up here so now what we do here is that we go to create now blank reports so design view now so now what we do here is that we go to design add existing so let's first set a record source for this report so record source is registration extended sorry local source is uh, course details cost details so our field and the fields that we need we need the sum of cost price so we need this basic information here so this will also show on the report so let us add it up here so here we select size is widest okay so let us set time zero man 12 black here so here we see grand cost amount paid now we see balance okay so now that we are done with this i'll click shift fill so let's come here shift fill let's set it to be transparent now let's put this one closer let's put this one closer okay so this is a form control as you save now we say cost fr okay so let us convert it to a report so it's so easy what you do is you select it copy control v to paste so this time i didn't give us an option to do that so what we are going to do is let's go to design view file save as save as object save as so we save as reports okay okay so now we have the cost form here so let's rename it so we say cost bills balance okay so once you preview let's do away with the outlines and then also uh so here you can see it shows the colors are really changing alternate colors so let's just set it to a unique color double click here alternate fill now select this so let me add a label to the top so this label is going to be so transaction details okay so we are almost there guys now size let's select this now this is okay hold it okay now here the balance if it is greater than zero so let us set layout view now let's do away with the outlines here format transparent so here let's just do conditional formatting right click let's tap instead conditional formatting new rule now if the value is greater than zero then the color should be red and we bold it so let's set one more if it is equal to if it is equal to zero then in that case give us a green color we bold it as such okay so now you can see if it is in red it means the student is following okay so having done this we close now we go back to design registration let's report let's bring it down here so now let's bring our bar and here we click and drag this here let's remove the label okay so now let me narrow it a bit 
and now shape outline here let's set it to black as usual or you can also choose to uh, ignore that so let us ignore it and see how it will look like okay so now that we are done I will close this add one more button that will do the printing for us so now we say print print and this print let's format it so this is okay now build events macros print objects so here we go now registration reports okay so let us also do away with the screw bar here because it doesn't look good there so design view let's put this one here so now we double click here it opens the property sheet of that sub form sub report sorry screw bar click we set it to neither now we see okay so now that we are done let us go to course registration form so if we should display the reports now you can see that it's showing us a transaction detail of all students which is something that we don't really want we want to see transactions of the selected students so let us do the linking once more again so let's click here now i come to data so you select this sub reports link master field student id student id no we want the registration so we want to use a syria instead so here we choose syria here too we are going to choose syria okay so show us the cost uh details associated with this student's unique syria so we have enough spaces at the top let's put this one there and this button we can make it 14 so good now this is what we do let me select this rectangle and pull it up here down okay so now we close it guys let's test it one more prints so now as you can see these are the course detail course course is this the student paid this and the balance is zero so this is looking so amazing so for these students once we print now it shows us that the student registered two courses and then sandra this is a course detail also let's go to another student so i could smile at myself i already said only database development 400 i paid 250 so i'm only 150 so here you can click print to issue a printout so let's see for freddy so the print here okay so now let's say one more student so student id okay so it can be any student so let's say uh Godfrey. so number five now new students five so that is Godfrey here what is the course web development so here you can see amount paid as automatically comes let's say he's paying one two zero zero you save this registration id you click print id comes here and your transaction details are also right up there okay so guys although we have come to the end of this particular video so the aim we've been able to accomplish set up a cost registration details uh whereby we will build our students and then also uh, add courses that they are going to pursue take transaction or receive payments then print a receipt for them so ordinarily you have to also add uh, before we exit the meeting do want to add your company information at the top there so you add your co company logo the name so that one should come after this so it escaped as can be pending me uh, so you can do yours uh, because the file will be the link to the file is in the description uh, below so kindly check it out if you have really loved this video uh, kindly give me a thumb up and also share this particular video I thank you so much for the videos if you have any suggestion a video suggestion kindly put it in the comment section and I will turn to it guys thank you so much uh, for watching this video now to make this a complete system for use you need to create forms for every table and then every query where necessary yes okay so thank you i'll see you in the next video bye bye